For a while now, as a species, and I mean as humans, have been treated to the same goddamn Battle Royale experience for about three years. And if you want to get technical, there have been modded games with Battle Royale options long before this. Right after the release of the Hunger Games movie, actually, in 2012, Minecraft became the platform that would nurture this kind of game from the teat for years before it actually turned into its own standalone game. Survival Games was a Minecraft plugin for servers that gave us our first Battle Royale experience. And people realized this was fun as fuck, because immediately it was everywhere on YouTube. Like always, Minecraft seems to be the source of everything on the internet. Good and bad. If we skip a couple years, we get to The Culling. This is a lesser known Battle Royale game, but as these fucking leeches like to advertise, it was indeed the original. Still couldn't beat Minecraft though, could ya? Do you see any clues in these images? Yeah, this died within the first two days. In all fairness, the first one did okay. But trying to sell your game with the title original came off as pretentious, and that's why I didn't buy it. Another reason it most likely failed was because the second game was released during the prime of two major Battle Royale games. June 12th, 2018. A day all pedophiles will remember as a new way to get kids into their vans. Fortnite was released and V-Bucks could get kids into their vans all day long. This along with PUBG gave The Cooling 2 absolutely no chance, especially considering it was generic as an apple pie. And well, you probably know the rest. I don't want to go through the whole history of Battle Royales, but obviously Apex Legends, Ring of LCM, Black Ops 4, Blackout Battle Royale, Modern Warfare's Warzone, and Hyperscape. What do all of these games have in common? They all try to add their own little twist to the genre and end up making the same game with the same player base. Our game has a grab Grappling hook. Well, our game also has a grappling hook. Oh, boys! Look over here, our game has a grappling hook. Mm. I think the game that had the best chance of taking down Fortnite was Apex Legends. However, looking at the top streamed games on Twitch, it clearly couldn't keep up. The only Battle Royale game I ever had any fun in besides Fortnite was Apex Legends, and it simply couldn't compete. Then came the Messiah. Finally, the introduction is over, and we can get into this beaut of a game. Fall Guys is yet another Battle Royale game. However, this time, there's no grappling hook. Oh. Unlike every other Battle Royale game, there isn't a weapon in sight, unless you count your greasy paws. This is basically a Mario Party Battle Royale game. There are three moves in your arsenal, move, lunge, and grab. You use these moves to the absolute breaking point through 24 minigames, four of which are final minigames. The game starts with 60 disgusting other people, and your goal is to win each round and watch others suffer a measurable embarrassment as they are knocked into the slime. Each round, more people are eliminated, and to be the final guy is only spoken of in tall tales. There are many things this game does right. Most Battle Royale games try to activate your testosterone with gritty men using massive weapons. <laughs> Fall Guys doesn't try to be most Battle Royale games. It tries to be the Nickelodeon game show of your dreams and succeeds in almost every way. The art style reflects this. It almost looks like a Nintendo game with the amount of colors you're instantly serenaded with. And the music is as gorgeous as it is repetitive. Now that that's out of the way, the gameplay is something of a human fall flat experience along with 60 other people. The physics are so wonky that you can either get extremely mad or realize it's all luck and not get mad at all. I tend to get mad. Shit, come on! No! The grab can be used sometimes, it's not like I use this all the time, but when I do, I feel like a god. The lunge is pretty useful, especially when using shortcuts in Slime Climb. Oh yes, what is Slime Climb might you be asking? Some sort of strip club? No, it's one of the best maps in the game of 24. Now, I don't want to go over every map, but I will tell you the ones that suck asshole. The fruit matching game, the seesaw game, and maybe two of the team games are just bad. The team games are bad because you can't control 15 other people unless you're Hitler. However, I think that's where your brain is supposed to transfer the irritation into fun. My brain just fucking loses it, but I'm sure some people have fun with this. The servers crash for the first two days, which is why the names are numbers. However, the game is so fun, people still play it and are constantly streaming it. Back to the final minigames. There are four. It used to be three, but a patch along with the fourth one recently came out. There's a TNT run one, taking notes I see, the tail grab one, king of the hill, and finally the newest one is basically like wipeout, but the floor falls. I think all of them are pretty luck based, so I don't really have any complaints. I think they're all fairly fun and pretty fair. <laughs> In Fortnite, you can dress as Le Epic John Wick. In this game, you can dress as Scout from TF2. You tell me what's more badass. The battle pass is free for now, I guess, but that's pretty cool. All of the outfits are satisfying to work for and look pretty good. There are two currencies, crowns and kudos. Crowns are drastically harder to get, but are used for legendary skins. Kudos are basically just for the epic items and below. Fall Guys is genius because it completely flips the genre on its head and makes you reconsider what a battle royale game can be. I haven't had this much fun with a game for at least two years. It's sad, but it's true. Something is really cool about being back into a battle royale game and it actually being popular again. It gave the gaming industry a burst of creativity I also haven't seen in years. I'm extremely excited to see the future of Fall Guys and battle royales in general with Fall Guys as their king.